Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to the last update of 2023 of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had uh, a great year and having a great year. Uh, tomorrow is officially the last uh, trading day for 2023. Um, as you can possibly imagine, it'll probably kind of reflect like what the action we saw today or for the most part, lack of there. Pretty much what we saw yesterday so people are done, right? People are done for the year. If you are tomorrow going and aggressively uh, trying to make your year in the last day of the of the year, right? Now, you're a degenerate, right? You're a degenerate. So uh, happy hunting uh, the last uh, day of uh, 2023. If you are uh, brand new to the channel, you stumbled onto us. Thank you. Thank you very much for finding this. Uh, if you find a value and you'll probably get a good amount of value, especially if you're an intraday short-term trader, uh, we do a daily broadcast uh, Monday through Wednesdays, usually Thursday. Uh, I take the night off because it's just overwhelming my brain talking all day and trading all day is just way, way too much. So I could recharge for Friday and I'll do a weekend update show. The only reason I'm doing it uh, today is because Monday we were off and I kind of wanted uh, to wish everyone, uh, one of the very first people to wish you a happy and healthy new year. Hope your dreams, uh, emotionally, health wise, relationships, financially, uh, come true, come true. And hopefully you are taking uh, better steps to becoming a great human being, right? Not a great trader, uh, but great human being. That's the most important thing. And this is what makes the world, uh, go round kindness, uh, empathy, all that good stuff. So hopefully, uh, everyone is on the track and including uh, myself as uh, well. So it's kind of, you know, kind of uh, ridiculous to kind of even talk about today's action. You look at the final stats, the NASDAQ basically flat uh, down four points. The, the one stock I want to talk about is Tesla. So here's the crazy part. So if you've been just watching this broadcast since November, right, since November, Every single time Tesla has given us a green light, right? Given us a, a break above the 50-day moving average, closed into this, in, closed well into the day, uh, gapped up the next day. You figure you get a massive two-day run on the stock. And it's happened now to me, what, four or five different times since September, uh, since November. Big, big move, five, six dollar move. The next day tops out, it goes down. Next day, the following time gives us a $13 move comes back all the way in the bottom of the range. And next time around, gives us a, an $11 move, comes back in the middle of the range. And this was the latest, right? This was the latest uh, version of Tesla uh, disappointing. So if you guys remember, uh, if you guys remember about two weeks ago, I believe it was Bernstein, right? I even made a, a joke about it, the Bernstein Bears. If you, guys, if you guys are old enough to remember what the Bernstein Bears were, they were, uh, you know, they were cartoonish, a uh, cartoonish book with a bear family, uh, you know, trials and tribulations of a family via a bear's uh, view. So Berenstein, right, the Berenstein Bears, uh, or I affectionately um, uh, talked about them as a bagel store from uh, New Jersey, um, they put out a, a negative note for 2024 uh, valuation of Tesla. And they basically see, they see the shares can decline up to 40%. And, and, and as soon as that happens, and as soon as they held that bottom range, this is the Bearstein, this is the Bearstein downgrade here. The stock just started ripping up. Because any time, and you, know, and you see this, this is why, uh, this is why uh, short seller uh, advocates stopped basically telling everybody what their position was, because they're about, they're, they've always gone squeezed. This is why uh, a, 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 a player like Citron Research just stopped talking about their shorts positions. They, get, they kept on getting run over. So we had this massive squeeze on Tesla for the next uh, two weeks or so. Uh, had an engulfing candle. They held the engulfing candle. And this is why it's going to be a little bit important uh, why the 10-day kind of held today going into tomorrow's session. Then we started rallying again. So Tesla yesterday, uh, Tesla yesterday, this was the pivot on Tesla, right? 
258-22 and 260 big areas uh, you know, on deck and it needs to build off that 258-260 uh, area. And we should see 265, 270, right? That was the measured initial potential. So we got long yesterday on Tesla. Uh, overnight, the stocks, the stocks spiked up, right? And here's my pre-market notes. Hey guys, uh, get down to you know, get down to a runner 264, 265. I actually, excuse me, this was the last night. Get down to a runner to, if it gets to 265. Hopefully, it closes well and we get that 270 push. So this morning, uh, this morning the stock gap that you can see is nine nine o'clock this morning. Uh, this morning, it gapped up. I got down to 10% uh, size, okay? Because, you know, again, like everybody else, I'm, I'm kind of closing down the week, uh, closing down the year. So, you know, it was a nice move. You know, it was a nice, you know, four, four and a half dollar move. Uh, it traded up five for us. Uh, perfect move into daily supply pre-market. Let's see if we can get a build over 265 to 270s. That didn't happen, right? Even though I got down to 10% position, I was like, all right, let's see what happens here. We should get a push here. It didn't push, right? Not only did it didn't push, it did exactly the same thing. It's pretty much done since November, right? Uh, it broke out, was about to give you that second day run and completely fell apart. And not only did it fall apart, and obviously it stopped me out at break even on the 260, uh, on the 260 uh, retest, but the stock got absolutely killed into the close and closed right at the 10 day moving average. And the reason why this is kind of a big deal. If you've been watching, you know, if you've been watching um, this broadcast over the last several years, you kind of know what I think the importance of the 10 day moving average is for me. Uh, that is called for me, the birth of the trade. And that's what we call it in the PS60 theory. So if you guys notice the last time there was an engulfing candle into the 10 day, that's the green line here, right? What happened the next day? The next day, the bulls held serve, right? They held serve and started rallying again. The question going in for tomorrow, and I think this is a very valid question, is, well, can the bulls kind of hold on to that 10-day moving average? And that's kind of me a, a kind of a big deal going into tomorrow's session, because if they can't hold on to the 10-day moving average and this thing confirms, we can get a trade. You know, we could get a downside trade all the way back down from the 20-day su support of roughly this 246, 247 level. For me, again, I love Tesla, but I don't love Tesla as a company. I love Tesla as a stock, right? I traded long, I traded short, doesn't make a difference to me. And the most uh, uh, oddest thing what we did see today is it wasn't even the fact that the stock didn't follow through. And that was definitely, definitely disappointing. But you know, once you lock in 90% of your trade, does it really, really matter what happens to your runner? And that's the whole emphasis of always, guys, always take money on the way up, always take money on the way down. There's no such thing as guarantees. There's no such thing as slam dunk trades. There's no such thing as easy trades. I knew it. If you knew this is a slam dunk trade, you should be all in on every single trade, but we don't, right? We don't. And that's the whole point of the market. The market always keeps us on our toes and always give us, you know, again, for your efforts, your research, your discipline, your entry, your execution, your trade management, the company, always pay yourself, pay yourself on the way up, pay yourself on the way down and use break even as a stop. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So going into tomorrow, um, what I've noticed today, and I think a lot of you guys noticed that today, especially in the webinar, we saw a ton, a ton, a ton of selling coming to the stock. And not just by one, not just by one wave, one interval. We saw the whole day, just a continuous, it felt like a forced liquidation. I know I don't want, I shouldn't use that word because it, it, it kind of, uh, it, it kind of has a really more aggressive tone to it than it is. But I don't know how, how else to kind of describe it. Somebody wanted out of the stock. And again, it, it, you know, it's pure speculation what it is, whether it's Elon or Kathy Wood or, you know, who the hell knows, right? It, it's all speculation who it was. The point is, it felt that way. And if you look at the 60-minute view of Tesla, you could see it, right? So here is the 55 that it got rejected at pre-market and just straight selling. Guys, there wasn't a green candle, right? There wasn't a green candle for the whole day. You know how hard for a stock to go down without an attempt at rallies for the whole day? So that's why I'm kind of looking at Tesla tomorrow uh, Tomorrow on the 10 day. This is pretty much one of the two names that I'm pretty much watching for tomorrow. I really don't need to trade tomorrow. Uh, you know, I'll see what happens with Tesla. It's the last day of the year, but I'm watching Tesla. If this thing starts losing uh, the 10 day moving average, you know, we could get a trade here. As you can see here, the whole point of the PS60 theory is taking stock from support to supply, support to support from, from I'm sorry, <laughs> supply to supply and demand to demand. And if you look at the next demand zone, 
That's roughly this 47, 48 area. So let's watch this thing, right? Let's watch this thing. The question is, are the bulls going to defend the 10 day like they did uh, back on December the 21st? Or is tomorrow going to finally confirm the 10 day moving average and drive it all the way back down to 47, 48? Again, we will be ready on both sides of the market. Other than that, uh, other than that, the only things I'm really interested in tomorrow, uh, NVIDIA, you know, continues to get a lot of call buying this thing. I, I try to trade today through the opening range high. It went up like 70 cents and I, you know, only quarter size. There's a big level coming up here. Um, we'll, we'll see if it plays out that way. Um, you know, I lost a couple of bucks uh, on the quarter size. Well, nothing here, nothing there, but I, they're, they're still coming for the 500 weeklies. So 500, they're coming for the January 520s. You know, I still want to watch the video for tomorrow just in case, it, you know, it's finally the day. I feel like I'm saying it's finally the day. Every day it keeps on going up a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. But it, it really is kind of weird that they, they just don't drive the stock higher considering how strong a name like AMD is, right? Uh, it's really, really uh, powerful to see what AMD is doing versus uh, some of the other semis. Another name that's actually holding up fairly well is Microsoft. It's starting to get super, super tight. Who knows? You know, we're just trying to get ideas for potential participation in the last day of the year. Uh, other than that, again, if I don't trade tomorrow, it's not a big deal one way or another. I don't have to trade. I don't need to trade. Uh, the point is you want to trade when you have a lot of good value. And I'm, you know, I'll watch Microsoft. I'll watch the video if they finally starts taking out that macro channel. And I'm definitely watching Tesla uh, to see if it loses, right? If it loses uh, the 10 day moving average. Again, just as a reminder, before we kind of end this broadcast, uh, you have a couple of days left, guys. If you are uh, planning to join us uh, for the live webinar for 2024. Uh, take take the opportunity next couple of days uh, to sign up for a discounted 30-day uh, kind of kick the tires, see what the webinar is all about, see what the pivot's all about. Again, it has nothing to do with me, okay? Uh, I'm Think of me as Phil Jackson. You're Michael Jordan, okay? Michael didn't need Phil uh, to win those championships. Michael just needed somebody in his ear to tell him what they see from their point of view, from their experience levels, in case Michael did not. And that's kind of the whole point is technical analysis is technical analysis. And then the most amazing part of what we see is so many people now are trading, they're trading on their own. And that's the whole point. Be a self-sufficient trader. This is not an alert service. I couldn't care less if you take these trades or not. If you're serious about developing as a trader, uh, developing your skill set through technical analysis, again, all you need to do is kick the tires for 30 days. Is it for you? Is it not for you? It's for some people. It's not for others just because the different account sizes, different types of uh, you know, experience levels. And the point is, if you are interested, uh, we are running this for the next couple of days. Take advantage. And I look forward to seeing you guys in 2024 and seeing you guys blossom. Guys, God bless. Have an amazing, amazing, happy new year. And we will see you in 2024. God bless everybody. Take care.